Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is another video I'm making. Uh, this is my second how to make an um, intern server video. But this time, um, I'm going to be doing uh, it way easier and quicker. Uh, so it's going to be way easier to follow. Because um, the first step is to open up Steam. After you open up Steam, go to Library, go to Games, go to Unturned, and then right click Unturned, go to Properties. Local files, browse local files. Keeps opening on my other screen. And once you're in local files, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see unturned exe or unturned. Right click this. Or no, click, right click this, create shortcut, and then in the shortcut, click it. I made other servers before, that's why there's other stuff. But uh, click it, left click. Once, right click it, go to properties, and then at the end here, make sure there's quotation marks. If there's not quotation marks, you need to put them on the beginning and on the end, like that, see? First, you're going to do space, and then dash, no, graphics. Then there's space, dash, batch, mode. And after that, you're going to do another one, plus, oh no, not plus, plus, um, secure, unsecure, or LAN server. LAN server is if you just, you don't want to port forward, and you just want to, play with someone like a friend or that's in your house. If you LAN server it, then that means no one that's not on the same network as you, like your same Wi-Fi and like close to you, will be able to play. Only people in your house. Secure server is what I'm going to be doing. So that secure means no vac banned hackers and stuff like that. People that have been banned by the um, people that run the game, like the people that make the game. If they get banned from that, that means they were hacking and they've been caught hacking and they've been investigated and it's banned. Not just banned from a server. Then do slash, and this is what the file name is going to be called. You can type in whatever you want. This is going to be server. I'm just going to name it tutorial. Like that. Right? All caps. It's better if you if you have a lot of servers, make them really different because you don't want to get them mixed up because you have to go and like check. I have, I have a lot of servers, because I host lots of servers for my friends, I just don't mess around with kids. Then after you're done, click apply, okay, and then run the server, or run the, yeah, shortcut. Wait for this all to load up. It should be like this, it say I'm turning up the top, but this is just... Your server. The last one should be like loading world something. Yeah, loading level. There you go. And then type shut down. That's totally not shut down. Down. Enter. If you click the X, it's gonna do, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna delete your stuff on your server, like all the progress you made and really mess it up. Believe me, I learned that the hard way. Now this shortcut, you can do rename to um I'm just gonna name it Super Bosa Server or YT Server. See, it's already been run. And once you run it, it should make a file in the servers file called whatever you called it in the in the thing when you need the properties. Just say server tutorial. That's what I named it. These are all my other servers, but server tutorial. That's what I named it when I did slash server tutorial at the end of that. Click that. Go to server. Go to commands.dat. And then what you want to do is type in name this is what people are gonna see when they search up in the servers list I'm gonna name it super 
goes uh, IT server. Yeah. Then I'm going to do port. Don't worry about this. It's just like the port as in when you press connect to a server, it should say port and IP. Like you type this in if your friend's trying to connect instead of just typing in the name. Uh, this is mandatory. 27015. There's multiple other ports you can do. You can look them up if you want. But this is just the main one. Map. If you want PEI, don't even type this. PEI is the default map. Map. I'm just going to do. Um, we can do Washington, Yukon, or PEI. I'm going to do PEI. I'm pretty sure you have to do it in all caps because that's what it's called. You might not have to. Then, mode. Easy. That's like easy, medium, hard, gold mode. If you want PvP or PvE, type either one. I'm going to do PvP. And then, um, oh, perspectives. Perspective. I think it's perspective. Both. And then after that, control S. Do that a few times just in case. I'm going to X out of it. And then go down, go all the way back to the server. Uh, what you named it. I named it Super Bros. YT server. You remember that. I'm going to run it. Should they successfully done all this stuff? Game mode easy, perspective to both. Port, blah, blah, blah. So now, if you have two monitors, it's best to drag it over to the other one. I'm going to drag it over to my other one just for now. And I'm going to load up unturned. Press play, obviously. Just so you know, um, your server will make your computer run a little bit slower if you don't have one of those like you don't you don't have like you have a standard office PC or something like that. Um, if you don't have like a a good PC that can run a lot of stuff, like, uh, I'm not really sure, but um, it's gonna lag and slow down your computer a bit. So it's best to not have anything else open at the time. Right now, I'm recording and running a server. It's not lagging on my screen, but it's lagging in the recording because the server's up. And this is what you're going to need to do. Either you can go here and then type in what the name of your server was, like Super uh, Super Bosa YT Server. Oh, I'm just going to type in Super. What, what the frick? Okay, well, okay, I'm just going to type in Super Bros. YT. PvP, PEI, Secure, Easy, Both Perspectives. Internet. Okay, that doesn't want to work. Then, what you could do is go to, go to Chrome. And go to Google and search what my IP. Then click this. And then click what's my IP. It should say a bunch of stuff like, um, I don't care. That. That's the IP for my server. Um, this is what you're going to type in, so copy, and then go back to unturned, play, connect, and then if you did it right, well, I already have it typed in, but you want to type in the 27015, control Z, oh my god, copy, I think you have to do control C, control C, Control V. There we go. 27015, that's what we set the port to. And there's no password. You didn't set password. If you want to have a password, um, just 
make make it um go to the where it says the command dot dat thing and type in password and then space and then whatever you want. I just didn't do a password. Connect. And there you go. I have my graphic settings turned up all the way. That doesn't help. But... See, there's this. Oh, a guy joined. <laughs> Shout out to Rack Helburn. Whatever that is. And then if you want to admin yourself, type in admin. And then your name. My name is Tobble. It says I successfully admin. And then if you want to have cheats in your server, like be able to spawn stuff in. Exit. Are you serious? I already have. I just now bought that off the community. Okay. Well, um, then you can type in shut down. Enter. Make sure you don't click the X. So that's gonna erase stuff. Close your unturned. Close that. Now go to. Oh, unturned's updating. Yay. Um. Go back to this super post IT server. Go to servers. Server tutorial. Walked right past that. Server commands at DAT. And then if you want to have cheats, spawn stuff in. Cheats. Type in cheats. And then password. If you want a password, I'm gonna do one, two, three. If you want Control S as always. Close that. Close that. Play unturned. And again, this should work. And if it doesn't work, um, like I don't. There's not really a reason why it wouldn't work. Maybe you messed up one space or one spot in the video. But um, if you did everything just exactly as I did, then you should be able to have it, and the other people might be able to join, or should be able to join. Oh wait, no. Uh, also, if uh, another step is, um, I look up a video on how to port forward, because in order to uh, to have random people join your server, you're gonna need to port forward. Um, and the reason why, oh wait, crap, I didn't reset my server. The reason why you're going to need a port forward is because um, people, uh, the reason why I'm not putting that in this video is because people can hack me uh, if I show that and I can't really edit it all out because there's so much stuff on the screen. But I think me like to big boom did a tutorial on it. I'm going to link it in the description. Um, so there's that. And yeah, me, like me like big boom did a tutorial on it. I think a few other people did. See server success password one two three connect all the links to this stuff will be in the description all the stuff you need to type in for the info will be in the description um, and yeah all you have to do is just go click that stuff copy and paste copy and paste Follow that other tutorial. And once you make the server, all you have to do is just do the port forwarding step, and that'll port forward for like, um, like you won't need to make a new server. Oh, that's just great. Alright. Sometimes it will do that, sometimes it'll say this server requires better internet connection. That's just, you know. Uh, you have all this. If you want to type stuff in, if you want to spawn stuff in, do at give table. That's my name. Whatever your name is. Slash uh, table. I'm gonna give myself a honey badger. One one six slash one. Oh, whoops. Slash give. Oh, it's at at. Toggle 
slash one six. Here we go. And I have a honey badger. Don't worry guys, I can't aim. Yeah. Alright, and that's the end of this video. Hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, comment in the comment section below. And that's it. See ya.